Oh, that's so bad. How could you be so stupid? Is this a child's drawing? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm doing something a little bit different to what I would usually do on this channel. So me and my friend Sarah have been talking about getting booked in to have some tattoos done and we got talking about bad tattoos and so the idea dawned. So I said to Sarah, I want you to find me the best worst tattoos that you can find um, and I will blind react to them for a YouTube video because that's what I do now. I react to things apparently. It's a little bit different to what I would usually do like I say but I just thought it would be a nice light-hearted video which would be a good one to come back with after the radio silence I haven't uploaded for a long time to this channel but I do have a lot in the pipeline so stick around for some more of my usual content. I have a few vlogs coming up, um, I have a lot of mental health and spoony content coming up but for today, I'm going to be reacting to really bad tattoos <laughs> because I thought, what better time to do so than just before I get tattooed? I never film videos on my sofa because I feel like the background is way too busy. Do you know what? This is a nice casual video, so where else would I sit? So I haven't seen any of these. I asked Sarah to send me them and I haven't looked at them because I wanted it to be a true blind reaction. So here we go. Let's see what we've got. Oh, hello. Suddenly got a bit more close up. Bron to die. I have no words. Oh, that's so bad. Bron to die. Oh, I'm embarrassed for the person that got that tattoo. I see this is on a Pinterest board called Drunken Regret Regrets. Am I drunk? Drunken Regrets. And I can see why it belongs there. <laughs> hello. Is it me you're looking for? It's Lionel Richie. I think this is supposed to be a Where's Wally outfit that he's wearing. Um, which is quite funny. I mean, I wouldn't personally get this inked on my body for, for forever, but you do you. That's quite funny. It's clever, but um, I can see why it might be regrettable. I think if I was hiring somebody and um, they had that tattoo, I might give the position to another candidate. Oh, I can't even look at this. So apparently neither the person getting this tattoo nor the artist knows their north, south, east and west. Oh, how embarrassing! It's not never eat shredded wheat anymore. It's never eat wedded shriek. Mm. North, south, east, west, right? But now it's north, west, south, east. Oh no. How could you be so stupid? Okay. <laughs> never don't give up. Okay, what is this supposed to be? Is it supposed to be a clock? Is this a child's drawing? I can't even work out what this one's supposed to be. Um, I can only presume that their child drew them a picture and they decided to have it tattooed on them. Please don't tell me you paid an artist to draw and tattoo that on you. Oh god, it makes me feel ill just thinking about it. I will not be going to them. <gasps> That's like Freddy meets Homer Simpson meets some kind of monster. Oh, this person has paid for somebody to draw this and tattoo it on them forever. It's on their arm, everyone can, oh my God, it's so bad. I would just like to disclaim, I can't draw. I can do stick figures, that's it. I'm not claiming to be an artist myself, but I'm not drawing things badly and then having the confidence to then go and ink that on somebody, to go and tattoo that on somebody's skin. I mean, what were they thinking? You can just imagine that this is like one of the pictures they've taken for their socials and for their portfolio. Great piece of art by Ink Boy today. Google. Porno. Oh, it's a dot to dot. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But it's bad. <laughs> it's clever. I mean, this makes for hours of fun. You know, you know that feeling when you complete a dot to dot on paper and you're like, Shit, what am I gonna do? I wanna do it again and I can't. Well, this is the solution because pen washes off of skin. Eh? But you didn't think about it. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I've seen this before. It's is my life, said John Bovey. Ah yes, the wise words of John Bovey. It's is my life. Mm-hmm, that's what he said. I mean, where do we start with this? It's not just the it's is and the John Bovey. The handwriting. It's like a six-year-old has done this in their handwriting book. This is not the kind of calligraphy that I would expect from a professional tattoo artist. Ever you feel sad? 
just remember what John Bovey said. <gasps> okay, um, where do we start? This is frighteningly bad. Um, I mean, first of all, if you're gonna get a portrait, I mean, I might not get one of somebody going, in terms of the tattoo itself, um, Uh, moving on, Megan crossed out, oops, I meant Holly. I mean, the Megan in itself is pretty embarrassing, but then what's he gonna do when he breaks up with Holly? Is he just gonna end up having an arm full of corrections? <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing for Holly. Like, Holly probably made him get that. Shame on you, Holly. Also, poor Megan, she's just been crossed out. Oh, this guy, that is embarrassing. I think this is supposed to be a tiger. I mean, where do you start? I feel like crying looking at it. Oh my God. There are no words for this one. <laughs> Only judge can God me. I don't really know what that's supposed to be a picture of. It kind of looks like a fetus growing in a hand. I don't understand. Like I re really don't understand what this picture is supposed to be of. Only judge can God me. That's so bad. At what point did they realize this? The only thing I can think of here is that English wasn't their first language because did I just say language right? Language. Language. Would you not, at some point in the process of tattooing these words, realise that you might have made a mistake? And as for the picture, I really don't understand this. <laughs> no, no ledge is power. I am embarrassed for this person. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> so bad that I just snotted, actually. I don't know if you saw it or not. This is so bad. It's not even close. It's not even like they're just missing the K. It's not even close. And the bubble writing. It's like a year six is trying to make a poster for their school wall. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, I've seen this one before and I don't know whether it's real or not. Like surely this isn't real. Can you imagine though, if you show that to somebody like, of course they would know, they would know this can't be real. I don't believe that this one's real, but it is genius. I don't understand this one. That's awful. So we have someone's back with what I think is supposed to be a building at the bottom of the trees and a telegraph wire with wires just going in all directions. I mean, this looks like someone's tried to do that dot to dot from the other one. It's the fact that he stood so proudly against like some kind of a backdrop. Like it looks like he's probably had this picture taken in the studio where he had the tattoo. I'm also a little bit worried about the lump on his shoulder, but that's not what we're here to talk about. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that. Moving on. This is hard to read. Every body gonna make mistake but everybody's got a choice to make well this is sheer irony because you definitely have made a mistake my lovely with this tattoo this is appalling i can't believe what i'm seeing who did it maybe they got their like three-year-old daughter to do it in which case that's pretty good it's so bad and the irony of the quote that's clever that's clever probably wouldn't get it tattooed but that's pretty clever it's jesus having relations with jesus and it says Jesus Christ. I can't unsee that. This is gonna give me nightmares. I'm concerned for this person's welfare and their emotional mental state. To be honest, the muck doesn't even look like the McDonald's M. I don't know how this person's ever gonna get a job. Very concerned for people's welfare tonight. Muck fuck face followed by penis with wings. I think. I, ca I can't, I can't look at this anymore. <laughs> okay, there's a clear theme going on here. Judging by how scared he looks, I don't know if this is quite what he asked for. Or maybe this was the exact moment that he realized that he made a mistake, but just remember everybody's gonna make mistakes, but everybody's got a lesson to learn in the famous words of John Bovey. Okay, and for the last one, this is actually a meme, not a tattoo. Well, it's a tattoo, but it's a meme. Um, when your tattoo artist is deaf and they've asked for Cher, the singer, and they've had a chair tattooed on them. I don't think for one minute that that's what happened with this tattoo of a chair, but it's a funny joke. Okay, well, that was quite a journey. I hope that you cringed as much as I did. Let me know what you thought of this video, because like I say, I know it's very different to um, the kind of videos that I normally make, but I just thought maybe it was time for a bit of lighthearted fun in between the serious stuff. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up because that would help me out a lot. I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button down below. I make videos about mental health, chronic illness, LGBTQ plus issues, 
amongst many other things in the kind of lifestyle genre. I also have quite a few vlogs in the pipeline as well. So if you're interested in those kind of things, why not join the family? I say that with irony because I only have three subscribers. Regardless, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!